Now, right here, if you want to, you can, you're welcome to access it right now. It's, a, I call it a calendar calibrator. And so if we look at our calendar, I, I have this weird thing about me. I don't know if it's because I spent so many years in a, in a weight room and like on a seven minute timer. So like my brain's like wired to think in like seven minute intervals or something like it's just natural and weird for me. But this calendar calibrator is, it's basically going to take your, your day and look at your day and it's going to give you a tool to, to break it down. And this is set up in 10 minute increments. I have one that's set up in, in 15 minute increments as well. And look at your day and just track your day. Maybe it's for just a day. Maybe it's for a week. Maybe it's for longer period of time. And then step back and look, okay, what am I doing? What do I need to keep doing? What do I need to stop doing? And what habits do I see forming? Like if you track for a week, oh, is this habit serving me? Oh, at about, you know, 12, 15 every day, I just start scrolling on Facebook for 30 minutes. Well, is that helping you get towards your goal? Probably not. Unless you're building, intentionally building some relationships, but people are scrolling, they're probably not moving towards their goal. So that's the tool that you can dive into and, and utilize. So in my calendar, even today, I had I had a window where nothing was like in there. And then I go back into my calendar, my my uh, Google calendar, and I, I put in there, okay, this is what I did. And I couldn't remember what else, which is not a good thing, because that's a sign I was not using my time productively. So I put a little question marks. I, I knew I did some emailing and then I put question marks. So then when I come back to my calendar at the end of the year and I reflect on how did my year go, I'll see where I have gaps. Another way you can use your calendar and, and look at your habits, your nano prioritizing is you can say, okay, what's red, what's yellow, what's green? What do I need to stop doing? What do I need to evaluate whether I should do or not and what do I need to keep doing I've come to the end of my year around between like Christmas and New Year's and I look at all the things I've I've done and then I think okay what's the return I've gotten on the time I've spent in that group for example and some groups I've spent moved to spending less time with because I haven't gotten a lot of return from a business standpoint or any other way and sometimes I get I, I move away from a group because just other opportunities that are giving me greater return, both professionally and personally, are raising up, and I need to invest my time there. So this is a tool that you can use to kind of evaluate how you're doing. 